Hey, what is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. This is DB43 here, as always, back with another diecast review. This one will be on a Disney Store release of the Tanko Tractor. Normally, I do not buy the Disney Store releases, and you can probably tell because I think the last time I reviewed a Disney Store item was when the first Cars 3 Disney Store cards came out in April of 2017, which was last year, of course, so it definitely has been a while since I reviewed a Disney Store release. But this one I definitely wanted to pick up since I've wanted Mattel to release this ever since I saw this when Cruz was racing and it was in her imagination while she's racing in the 4 to 500 in Cars 3. Like, when I saw this in theaters, I wanted it as a diecast as soon as possible, hoping Mattel will release it. And in case they don't, we still have the Disney Store release right here, and thankfully they did. I gotta give it to the Disney Store here because normally I don't like most of their products, but this one is definitely an exception because I really do like the design. I feel like it's very well done, so definitely wanted to pick this one. Up, so I got this one off of DisneyStore.com for $7.99. So we're going to go over the packaging first because especially this one since since I have not reviewed a Disney Store car in a long time I myself kind of forgot how they do the packaging so let's see we have Tinko Tractor right here in white text on like this red rectangle diecast car and it looks like it says it in another language maybe that's Spanish I'm not entirely sure we have the cars logo right there now if you look in the background it's actually the Los Angeles International Speedway because you can see the fan stands and that definitely looks like the Los Angeles International Speedway we have the Disney Disney Store logo up top right there with the castle, the Chaser series, and now, just because he's in the Chaser series does not mean that he's like a hard to get car, many people have been finding him, he's not that hard to find, so just, I want to be aware of that, I just want everyone to be aware of that, despite it says Chaser series, he's really not that hard to find, you can see the lightning ball going into a flame, similar to the Cars 3 McQueen design, right here we have a picture of Cars 3 McQueen, which looks absolutely incredible in my opinion, I really do like that photo. The Cars logo. The back, you can see Jackson Storms, his Tanko tractor. And on this side, you can see Dynaco Cruise. I won't be showing any footage of me unboxing this, because I feel like it might take a while to unbox this, especially since I'm seeing that little string thing wrapped around the front right there. So I'm not going to show any footage. I'll be right back when we have Tanko tractor here completely out of the pack. And of course, we will compare him to Rich Mixon. So here we got the Tanko tractor fully out of the package. And before we get on to that, let's take a look at the little poster because I forgot there was actually a poster included with these Disney Store 2018 releases. So, of course, we have the same McQueen picture that was on the box when it was still open. You have Jackson and Cruz. But on this side is where the good stuff is, I guess you could say. So, if we flip it open, you can see some Disney Store releases right here that are not from the Chase series. They're just normal releases. You can see Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, Louise Nash, River Scott, Junior Moon, Natalie Certain, Roscoe, Fowler, Cousin Hornet, and Mater. And now, despite it saying Mater, this is actually the Mater that has the little Piston Cup Speedway thing with a little miniature Lightning McQueen figure on top of him, like a little hat thing. And of course, here's the Chaser series. You can see the Tank Co Tractor with some other ones as well that are in the Chaser series Midnight Run, Lightning McQueen, Track Damage, Cruz Ramirez, Smokey, Jeff Corvette, and one that has not been released. Yet, and I'm super hyped for the Clutch A tractor, which is like this one, except of course that it will have Clutch A decals. So let's get right on to the review of this Disney Store release right here. So it is pretty big, so I had to put the camera back a little bit. So as you guys see, it's really hard to see its expression, but it looks like it's frowning, actually. If you look at it from this way, it does not look like he's smiling. It's like a little frown right there. And the way his eyes and eyebrows are positioned look, definitely looks like he is frowning. You can see his blue eyes, flat eyelids. He has a black guy line around both of his eyes. His eyes are actually not connected to each other. Of course, it says 36 on the side with the additional Prison Cup sponsors, Prison Cup, Combustor, Carbon, Cyber, and synergy. The little air vent things, I guess, is what the tractors would use. I guess these are the air vents for the tractors. I guess that's what they were probably trying to go for. TC, Tanko, of course, that's the abbreviation. I don't really want to go too much into detail, just in case this video comes out before my review of Rich Mix Zone, or if this one comes out before this one. It's not really, like, it doesn't really have any purpose to show the decals against this. They're literally the exact same, but you can just see how his decals are definitely similar to Rich Mix and it has almost of a pink metallic feel almost but not exactly they even add the rookie stripes in the back which i really do like of course his wheels in the front are a lot smaller than the ones in the back the back ones are absolutely huge and of course that's for the tractors to tip over easily because that's why that they're made like that so they tip over because mater one tractor tipping in cards one 
Anyway, you can see like this little thing right here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I guess like an exhaust thing for the tractors. It's blue on the tip, but as you go down, it goes into like a rusted brown color. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but it looks to be accurate, but who knows? It's Disney Store. They can make errors all the time, so I don't really know. But here we have more of the little engine thing. Here is the bottom with the base. And of course, here's the little white triangle, which I guess is the similarity to this right here, the white triangle on which mixing. I like how they also made it the same color. So yeah, here are the two together. You can definitely see that the designs are pretty similar, like almost the exact same. The only difference I can spot with them is that I've obviously the rich mixing tractor doesn't have a spoiler. There is no place to put a spoiler unless they would just put it on top of the cap right there. But that kind of defeats the purpose since it wouldn't really look like a tractor. So I'm glad they didn't do it actually. But there is a comparison with rich mixing and his oversized tank coat tractor. Of course, this appeared in Cars 3, like I said earlier on in the video, when Cruz was racing at the Florida 500, McQueen tells her to sneak through the window, and then in her imagination, all the racers started turning into tractors, just like her training in Thomasville, the abandoned speedway, and she started passing through most of them, and Rich Mixon here was actually the first racer to turn into a tractor, because Cruz looked at Rich, and then he turned into a tractor, and then like two seconds later, all of them turned into a tractor at one so rich was actually the first one to turn into a tractor and it was pretty funny it was one of the more better scenes of the four to five hundred in my opinion because i think the having the tractors as racial was really cool and it could make for great diecast in the future let me know do you guys prefer rich mixon as a racer or a tractor i really hope mattel releases this amazing diecast one day but it's time for the 360 Alrighty, well, so that is going to do it for the review of Tanko Tractor right here. I definitely recommend this Disney Store release. In my opinion, it's one of the more better Disney Store releases. I don't even remember the last time I was super excited to get a Disney Store release. So, everyone who did watch and enjoy this video, thank you guys so much for your crazy support recently. And I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out.